Hi there. Today we're going to be talking about how to draw quadrilaterals with a protractor. We're going to start off with number one. It says draw a quadrilateral with 126 degrees, 42 degrees, and an 82 degree angle. The first thing you always want to start off with, again, is your largest degree measurement. Remember, you start off by drawing angles with a dot and a straight line. Next, I'm going to find 126 degrees. 126 will be all the way over here. I make my tick mark, and I connect the tick mark to the dot. I'm going to go ahead and label 126. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to write, I'm going to go ahead and do the smallest angle right next to that one. What I can do is rotate the paper again, and this line that I just drew becomes my new dot. 42 degrees, line to line, dot to dot, will be right here. Again, connecting the dot to the tick mark to make your straight line. Because a quadrilateral has four sides, we need to create three angles to enclose it. So I'm gonna rotate my paper one more time this new dot that I just marked becomes my new measurement or my new dot for my measurement and now I'm going to draw my 82 degree angle. 82 is going to be right here. So when I connect my dot, I will have a quadrilateral. It is four-sided. It doesn't necessarily need to be perfect just because we have four different degree measurements. To find the leftover degrees, I just add 126 plus 82 plus 42. That's 8, 10, 20, and then another 42. will be 10, 5, and 2. And then I just take my 250 that I just came up with and subtract it from 360 this time, just because now you've got um, a quadrilateral, which means it's equal to 360 degrees. 0, 1, and 1. So this last angle should be 110 degrees. The next one we have is a parallelogram. These are a little bit different because a parallelogram, I'm just going to kind of sketch this right here. Remember, they need to look like this. And with a parallelogram, you have opposite angles that are the same. So if I was using 70 degrees and 110 degrees, that means 110 would have to be down here and across from it, and then 70 would have to be in the opposite corners. Okay, so this one's gonna be a little bit different with a parallelogram, so watch closely. Again, you start off by drawing your dot and your line. I'm gonna go ahead and draw 110, so all the way over here. And label the degree measurement. 110 and 70 need to be right next to one another because their angles will end up being, the same angles will end up being across from one another. So what I'm going to do for a parallelogram, instead of rotating my paper, the line that I started with will become where I'm going to start with my 70 degree angle. 70 degrees, if I line it up dot to dot, line to line, counting over this way will be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, right here. Tick mark to dot and draw my straight line. Here's an easier, the, these are technically a little bit easier to draw just because you've only, you're only dealing with two degree measurements. Um, if you rotate again, remember 70 has to be up in this corner. So if I, I'm going to start with my new line I just drew, that's my new dot, and again do another 70 degree angle because remember 70 degrees has to be across from one another in a parallelogram. And 70 is going to end up to be right here. Match tick mark to line. And I can actually go ahead and connect to make my parallelogram. 70 will be here, and then obviously 110 
will be in this corner because they're opposite from one another. If you have a pencil, that means that you can erase this part right here um, just to make it a little bit more neat and nice, but if you leave it like this on your test, that'd be fine as well. The last one we're gonna try is number three, and that's drawing another parallelogram, but this time we're gonna do 60 and 120 degree angles. Remember, you always start drawing your vertex and your straight line for your angle or the ray. And then with your biggest degree measurement, that's 120. So 0, 10, 20, 30, here's 90. 120 is gonna be all the way over here. Take mark and connect. And remember, 60 degrees is going to have to go right next to 120. So I'm gonna make my new dot right next to it and then do my 60 degree angle. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, right here. Connect, tick, mark to dot. And that'll be 60. And then all you gotta do is rotate your paper one time. If this one's 120, this one will have to be 60 because 60 has to be across from 60 in a parallelogram. I'm gonna create my new dot for this line. Match up dot to dot, line to line. Here's my 60 degree mark, make my dot, and connect. So this one will be 60, and this will be 120. That's gonna conclude our video. If you need help at all, make sure that you rewind the video just to check some other examples. And thanks for tuning in.